This morning we're going to be tying a little stonefly jig nymph. We'll begin by throwing the hook in the vise. You want to put that slide that bead on first, the slotted bead, and just make sure that that rides pinned up as far up the hook as we can. If it spins on you, it'll it'll butt up against the hook. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but it's just not going to ride the same. So make sure you spin it so that that bead is almost on top of the eye of the hook. And we're gonna start wrapping our thread right behind it. And, and what I'd like to do is build up a little bit of a dam so that the bead stays place. It's easy as you're tying. Sometimes it'll slide back and, and um, get out of position. If you don't look at it too closely, you can mess up the fly. So we'll go ahead and tie that in and bring our thread back down to the bend of the hook. We're gonna use goose bites for the tail, about half the length of the distance between the bead, back of the bead and the shank, uh, the bend of the hook. And we'll tie that in a little longer there. Maybe even a little bit longer than that. That looks about right. One on one side. And then one, grab that off the vise. One on the other side. Just line them up so those tips are about the same in length, and then you can secure a loose wrap over the top, and then you can pin it down. And why not? We'll just wrap up the shank. Underbodies are things you're going to cover up. We're going to be building it up with quite a bit of dubbing, so we can just use those bias to help build up that a little bit. Copper wire or copper, copper mylar is going to be next. This is a brown one, so really you can kind of match it according to what you're looking for. I'm going to use a little bit of dubbing for the body. We'll spin that on. I want it pretty tight. We want this definitely tapered. Stoneflies have a pretty good wedge to them. And we'll start at the bend and we'll just kind of work our way up. And we're going to come up a little bit more than halfway up the shank. It's a good looking body. And then go ahead and bring your mylar through the dubbing. Four or five wraps, evenly spaced out. It'll give it just a little bit of shim and shimmer, shine and shimmer as it's drifting down a, a run. Rubber legs are going to be next. We're going to bring our thread more or less halfway up between the distance between the bend, or not the bend, but the body and the bead. And I'm going to take two equal distant or length rubber hackle, tie them up on top of the shank of the hook, and then you can divide them into an X. And we can trim that to whatever size we want later on. Start more than not enough, obviously, and then X them out. We're going to go back to the dubbing. We want a pretty good sized thorax on this. So we'll add just a little bit more dubbing than we did for the body. And then I'll wrap up and then back and over the top and build that up. Divide that those rubber legs into an X. Looks really good. Bring the thread forward to the eye or behind the bead. And then we'll whip finish. I've said this many times before, not every fly is complicated. Sometimes the simplest ones are the best and most effective. This is a very effective stone fly nymph. Jig head stone fly.